Guess what? You probably didn't hear about this on the news. The Dutch government wants new climate goals, which will shut down farms. 40,000 farmers protested, and they are blocking motorways with their tractors. They sprayed manure on the town hall. Why isn't this bigger news? For Europe, when weaponized manure and, uh, is really a... a co- <laughs> According to Wikipedia, they've been protesting since 2019. Whoa, I and I have that. A, the 2019 to present Dutch farmers protest. You want to see? Inspiring photo of the Dutch farmers standing up and refusing to accept the insane policies of their government. Wow. Look at that. That's all tractors. These are all tractors for as far as the eye can see. Meanwhile, the corporate news media ignores it all and pretends it isn't happening. 30 years ago, this would have been front page worldwide, but now all media have been captured. That's correct. Well, I'm one of the 8% that have a lot of confidence in it. <laughs> <laughs> Here, Holland closes, do- uh, closes dozens of farms and cattle ranchers to reduce nitrogen by 30%. That's their goal. They have to reduce nitrogen by 30%. Angry and hungry farmers block the nation everywhere. Here they are. Let's see. Uh, is anybody else finding the Dutch farmers resistance movement utterly inspiring? Let's watch a little. So there they are pushing, they're using their tractor to push. Look at that. That looks like a police thing. You can turn up so we can hear Kurt. Oh, Cammy. Yeah. And there they are spraying shit on the cops. Did you see that? Oh my God. The cops were really just taking it too. They were not moving. The cops were just standing there taking the shit being sprayed on them. Unlike those Uvalde cowards, they. T- <laughs> so I don't know what this. There they are. I don't know what this close up is. There's footage of them chasing uh, agent provocateurs. Oh, I got too. that. I'm going to show. I'm going to show that. Look at them. Look at all the tractors. Boy, I wish I spoke Dutch. So, uh, Dutch farmer spraying shit at a town hall sums up. My, here we go. Want to see it? So I guess that's manure. That's not going to lower nitrogen level. <laughs> Look at them spraying. So they're spraying shit on their town hall. Isn't that something? It's a very effective weapon. (laughs) If we if we did that here, they would call they would call them terrorists, and then they would shoot them. (laughs) So there's that. Uh, Looks like the airports have been shut down by the Dutch farmers. The world is watching. They shut down the airports. This isn't on the news here. Not at all. I saw where they arrested some of the farmers and the farmers drove to the police station, shut down the police station so they couldn't have cars come in and out of the police station and they had to let the farmers go. I I saw that video like a week ago. I don't know why I didn't save it for the show, but I did see it. Uh, Close airports, ports, distribution centers, supermarket chains, roads, highways, and strategic borders. Dutch farmers promised it, and they're doing it. A colossal protest, but no Italian media talks about this. That's somebody, I'm guessing, from Italy, saying nobody's talking about what they're doing. If they did this in the United States, they'd get shot in the face. And in the Netherlands, they shot them too. Want to see this? It says, police fire on Dutch farmers protesting environmental rules. And... I'm not, I'm not going to show you the video because then they'll demonetize it. But this is it. 
Dutch police shooting at farmers. The Dutch government is using desperate measures to contain this protest. This is how easy people this is how easy people power can bring any government down simply by using their tools to block the arteries of commerce. You'll see much more of this. That's from Kim.com. Uh, the Dutch police have fired shots at completely peaceful and unarmed farmers. This is why you don't give up your guns. Unarmed people don't stand a chance against tyranny. Do you see how they make this argument for them? Do you see how the cops make this argument for them? When you shoot peaceful protesters, which is what they they were shooting at their vehicles. I saw that happen. Uh, and here's the Dutch farmers protest livestock cuts to curb nitrogen. So the Dutch government plans to cut greenhouse gas nitrogen by as much as 70% in 131 key areas, many of them close to nature reserves to reach climate goals by 2030. For farmers, this means a 40% drop in emissions, which would require around 30% less cattle. The government's announcement comes in the wake of a 2019 ruling by the country's highest administrative court saying that the Netherlands was not doing enough to protect its natural areas. In one of their largest ever demonstrations, so blah, 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 blah. I don't, I don't, you want to see this? This well, is, this yeah, is, I'll tell you why, because that's not going to, it's like big business farms. It's kind of like how all the farms here get bought up in their own by some, yeah, or like BlackRock buying all the houses. Yes. Like, this push is, push all the little people out. This and is, make sure only, yeah. This is what this is doing. It's pushing out the small farmer, and it seems like it's just going to, you're going to go to factory farms. This, yeah. this seems like it's engineered to get rid of small farmers. That's what it looks like to people. That's what it looks like to me, but what do I know? But uh, let's watch what they, this is Al Jazeera's news report. You want to see it? Without farmers, no food. With that slogan, farmers took their tractors to food distribution centers around the country, blocking refrigerated trucks from delivering food to thousands of supermarkets. We think that people should experience what farmers are experiencing right now. Jeroen Willems was forced to sell his farm last year because he couldn't earn enough money with his 50 cows and meet government limits on emissions. I'm part of the fourth generation of farmers in our family and that you have to give that up is very difficult. It is estimated that around 5,000 farmers will have to sell their farms, especially those who live close to natural parks. They will have to cut nitrogen emissions coming from animal feces by up to 70% per farm. Research has shown that nitrogen emissions have severely damaged air quality and ecosystems in the Netherlands after decades of intensive farming. Now radical action is needed to meet European emission targets. After years of farmers' protests over government plans, the conflict has escalated in recent weeks. The effects of these farmers' protests are increasingly being felt by the Dutch public. After weeks of blocking highways and some confrontations with police, now they're targeting the very core of society, food. While a recent survey suggests that public support for these actions have gone up, the question is now, will this trend continue? The Association for Supermarkets have asked police to end the blockades as soon as possible. Of course. They say it's not only shops being affected, but that hospitals and other institutions could soon start running out of food. Snap that action for it. They are right, and if they think they have to do this, just do it. Only problem is that our supermarkets may be empty, but then at least we know where the food is coming from. I understand why they're protesting. Question is how much it disrupts society. If citizens start to suffer, there'll be a limit to what people will accept. So I like when people say things like that about protests. Hey, go ahead and protest, but if it starts inconveniencing anybody, then... Yeah, that's the whole point of a protest. The, the, the people don't understand that protests are supposed to make people upset, so then they put pressure on their government leaders to do something. That's why they do protests. They don't do protests so it doesn't bother anybody. They do protests so it bothers people, so it Fs things up, so people can't get their food, people can't get their stuff, and so something needs to be done. That's what why you protest. That whole well, thing of you, you, you don't have a protest in your apartment. That's not a protest. That's a party. Go ahead, what Kurt. Think, what, what do you think, uh, like, who's the conglomerate that is moving in? 
Because that's got to be to push them out so that one company can just do the whole thing. It's that's how we do uh, marijuana legalization, too. They want to make sure nobody's small. That's right. They want just big corporations. And then all these politicians that were against it now, that's their business. Uh, it's getting insanely difficult to entertain the idea that this is not a manufactured collapse. And that had 651 likes. That's just some random tweet I saw on Twitter. <clears throat> 690 so uh removing farms to reduce nitrogen let me translate this real fast we do not want you to have the ability to feed yourself or others when we put our boot on the neck of humanity to control you oh yeah green new deal so do you see how this makes people feel the story is getting no coverage governments want to close down food production to save the planet are they insane people simply want to feed their children when democracy produces the wef puppet politicians like this it's time for people to occupy government so it doesn't that guy i watched the one guy yelling at that politician about like wef that was like one of the Klaus schwab like we've we've infiltrated the uh uh -huh. parliaments that, uh, that is one of those politicians isn't it uh, that that's doing this yeah uh i'm gonna guess yeah before COVID, I believed in climate change. A WEF 1973 manifesto, now removed from their website, changed my mind. It said global warming could be invented to distract citizens from what was really going on. What? Yeah, what? <laughs> That's crazy. I don't know about that. Okay. Party started. Bill Gates and other people of the elite cult want to starve us out and make us eat crickets and lab grown meat in the name of climate change. Now, we've covered that here, Kurt. They are pushing insect bug meat. It's a big you, thing that's happening right now. Bug, bug meat. Did you watch Nicole Kidman trying it? There's no, no, I her. didn't see it. Did she like it? No, it's not clear that she likes it. No. <laughs> <laughs> There's another one. The climate delusions are continuing. Here we have farmers protesting after the Dutch government closed dozens of farms and ranches to reduce nitrogen. The world has gone insane. Oh, and here's you want to see. You want to see. So this. Yeah, so this one. so that's the debate that's happening there. The government says this is about climate change. Other people say that no, this is about well, what Kurt and I were saying. This is a this is a big cor big corporation push. This is a WEF thing happening to. Get rid of all the small farmers. Just like during COVID, you could buy a baseball mitt from Amazon, but you couldn't buy a baseball mitt from your local sporting goods store. Why is that? Nobody ever has an answer for that. Uh, this 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 feels like the same thing. But people are saying this is about climate change and fighting climate change. Um, I think that for it to fall on the shoulders of the Dutch farmers to fight, cl you know, we uh, yeah. know we know that most of where most of the climate change comes from, it's like a hundred of the top. Uh, company uh, corporations in the world. Anyway, the Netherlands is going to be the the, the, the Nether makes the, the difference in that. The Netherlands. This okay. is the linchpin. Uh, and so so that's the debate. Now I want to show you this. So now there are, of course, this is an effect. These are effective. And so what do cops do immediately? Cops immediately pretend they're one of the protesters and they start violence. That's what cops do all over the place. Well, they sniffed them out. They sniffed them out. You want to see it? Watch this. And they're all good. They're all good people because they're wearing their masks. Did you see that? Yeah. All the all the undercover cops are wearing masks. I'm surprised they have a police van they're getting into, and it's not a U-Haul. Yeah, here it is. Let's watch the end. And then what's this guy doing there? Just standing there. Like, how bad do you gotta fuck up to get the Dutchies angry? Right? They'll hold their anger in like, <laughs> like Canadians. Yeah, let's see it again. Okay. The masks. They all have masks in like, Can we get in here?
So whenever you see violence at a protest or something like that, the chances are it's being started by police. It's either being started by police in their uniforms and no one gives a shit, or it's being started by police in undercover uniforms and no one gives a shit. And everybody then uses that to then have the cops crack the heads of peaceful protesters. You, you see how this works? Go ahead, Are Kurt. you saying there's no such thing as free complimentary protest bricks? At the, uh... <laughs> <laughs> so that's it. There you go. That's what's happening over in Dutchland, in the Netherlands. Uh, and it's not being covered here. So thanks for watching YouTube. YouTube, though, is the YouTube, all social media is on a censorship terror, and they're taking down channels left and right. So please become a uh, premium supporter, uh, Patreon, or go to our website and sign up. Five or ten dollars a month makes all the difference. Really appreciate it. Hey, we're going to Sacramento back here in Los Angeles, Bakersfield, Indianapolis, Louisville, Cincinnati, Tulsa, Oklahoma City. Go to JimmyDoreComedy.com for a link for all the tickets for all our shows. Mm -hmm.